Hey guys, Gamma the Power here showing you how to make a selection menu with the command prompts DOS commands. So I already made one and here's what it'll end up like. So I have it to open another command prompt, iTunes or Fraps. So you have to choose the number one for command prompts and it just brings that up and now I have to reopen this two for iTunes and just give it a second to pop up there it is I have it so that it automatically plays the song Remnants by Disturbed in the Asylum album I'm just gonna exit this would you like to choose another option? Yes. Just brings this back up. Three brings up fraps, so I'm gonna do fraps. And then there's all the frap stuff. And then you press N to for no and it just closes so now I'm going to show you the code that's used to make that I'm going to use the notepad so and echo off if I weren't to turn this off then it would say like title user input and it would say all the commands like it would say echo one command prompt and then command prompt for the list and set P selected it would say all that stuff instead of it just being invisible and so that you can't see it so right here is what makes the options menu this whole if statement so this sets what you choose so set slash P Selected. Selected is what you're um, creating your option results as. So whatever you type, selected is going to equal that. And then please choose an option is the string that it's going to show. Like that's what it shows. And yeah. So you have to put this a quote or a double quote and then the percent sign then your um, variable name which is selected and then end the percent sign and the quote when you're doing the percent sign it's pretty much saying that it's a predefined variable that you already set and the quote is just making sure that it knows that it's only this part and then there's a double equal sign because otherwise it thinks your um, setting selected to equal one instead of seeing if selected equals one so if it does equal one it goes to the prompt and then prompt goes to void void is all the way down here so it clears the log screen and then start slash b slash b means do it in the current window and i saw something else i needed to start in slash b too but i don't know what that is okay so then if selected equals two go to tunes tunes is right here so it opens my directory for a certain song and then starts that song. It has a really weird name because I had to reformat my computer and then I had to um, get the songs off my iPod onto my computer instead of off my computer onto my iPod. And iPod's um, file names are really weird like odlc.mp3 although they show the regular name like remnants and then go to end brings it down here
clear log screen set p yes no equals would you like to open another option yes or no so if this equals yes then go back to start start is right here and it's really just reopening the project so it's bringing me to my desktop and then opening the start shortcut.bat and then v end is just exits it it's very end that's pretty much what it means so then fraps current directory c fraps that's just my directory that fraps is stored in and then start fraps.exe that's all it does is starts fraps and then it goes to the end and asks if you want to select another option and if no it says go to very end and if yes start so that's pretty much it so I hope this helped see you later